Hi everyone, you are welcome to Physical Fashion House Studio. I'm Fola. Today we'll be learning how to make one beautiful uh, structured sleeve. And to make the sleeve, we'll be making use of these uh, um, items. We'll be making use of this fabric. This is a, a bridal satin wine, a burgundy bridal satin fabric. We'll be making use of these uh, stiff nets. This is stiff net. You can see how um, strong it is. Please don't use this. Uh, they call this one hard net. <laughs> so don't use this. This one cannot work for this uh, project. But make use of this uh, stiff net. We call it hard net as well. But if you call it stiff net, they will quickly understand what we are, you are talking about. So you, we make use of this. Uh, Regular bone. So this is the way it looks. This is the half of an inch. This is the one centimeter. So anyone you like, you can use. Then you, I'll be using these uh, trimmings to complement it. So for the trimmings parts, I advise you use either stone or bead. You can bead that uh, part where I'll be using this. So I'm, I'm just using this for the sake of uh, the YouTube. We are, if you are making it for customer, I advise you use a stone or bead it, or you can use sequin. So you can use any of those uh, three, bead, stone, or sequin. So let's get started. Now to make our sleeve, I'll be making use of this uh, bustier uh, top with basket. So this is what I will be attaching my sleeve to. So to make the sleeve, I will be drawing that sleeve on this uh, pattern so that you can see clearly how it looks. Because if I should choose to draw on this net, you will not see what I'm doing clearly. So let's use this. So this paper I cut out. I cut out uh, 20 inches by 10 inches. So if you place it on foot, it becomes, I mean, it becomes a 10 by 10, 10 by 10 on foot. So that is the paper we are using. So having done that, this is 20 inches by 10 inches. Now you now fold it, let it be on foot. So after folding it this way, you now fold it this way. So making four, you have folded it into four now. Having done that, so you measure what you are having in your um, arm region here. We are having four inches. So we'll be leaving one inch. So it is three inches we are going to consider. So that three inches now is already on foot. So the three inches will be measured this way. We are going to divide it into two. If you divide three inches into two, it gives you 1.5. So you mark 1.5 at this region. So where it is on foot, you mark the 1.5. I don't want you to miss it, miss it up. This place is closed, this place is closed. Yeah. Having done that, you cut it out. So when you open it now, this is what you have. You can see, it. this is the way your structure sleeve is going to be so you can see it this is it so this is what you will use to cut out this net now i'll place it or need to cut it out now i've gone ahead to cut out the steel net i chose to cut it out off camera just to save time so, let me finish it. so this is it so the next thing we do now is to go ahead and attach our regular bone to it. And now are we going to do that? To attach your regular bone to the um, stiff net, this is the way you are going to place your regular bone. This is the regular bone. This is the line you are, you, you are going to place it this way. Ensure that you stitch it by both sides. You will see where it can be, you know, where you can sew on, you will see it by by each side, by both sides. So that's the way you stitch it. 
then you come to this one this side as well you stitch it this way then this one stitch it this way then before you now stitch here you stitch here stitch here stitch uh regulating bone here so that's how you are going to place your regulating bone on the um stiff net yeah this is it you will notice that our structure sleeve is already taking shape so i've gone ahead to stitch it note that this is a this this is regulating bone that you can stitch on i stitch by the two sides i stitch a i stitch a that's how i did for all of them you can see very neat so another the next thing you can do now is just to take a bias secure these raw edges with a bias so that it will not be poking. the next thing to do now is to take this uh, template place it on your fabric and ensure that half an inch is added all through make sure half an inch is added all through by the time you are cutting out your your fabric so and when you cut out your fabric this uh, fabric you are going to cut out two pieces of this of your fabric cut out two pieces then don't forget to add your half an inch joining allowance to the fabric so that is what we want to you know use to cover this before this uh, quarter of an inch uh, three means will be uh, placed on it yes i've gone ahead to you know to join i mean to cut out my fabric this is it this is the line i put a light interfacing in the in the line this is going to be the main the main sleeve so this is the stiff net i secure it here with a masking tape you know i told you you can use the bias to you know secure it all around so for this sake of this class i just use the masking tape to secure it here. so the next thing is for me to go and join insert this here here you can see the half an inch joining allowance is there so what we do now is to place this on the self we place then i join it i join it here with my half an inch then i insert it when you are inserting it ensure that this side uh, fall on the main fabric because this is the um wrong side of this um stiff of the of the sleeve so this is the right side so the main fabric this is the main fabric is the one that will cover the the right side this way so let me go and do that and come and show you how it looks like before we place our trimmings yes i've gone ahead to join this together so the next thing is for me to turn it to the to the right side i join here together i join here i join here leaving this side so this is it so i will just go ahead and iron it very well this is it i've gone to iron it so this is the lining so what we do is to the next thing to do is to insert it in this is the line this will be facing inside here so we do it this way so after inserting it you are in it very well yeah so this is it so the next thing is for you to 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 use the trimmings it is the trimmings that we hold it down that we hold it down with the uh, main fabric 
now that we you know it will make it stable by the time you you attach your trimmings so as it is i'll still iron it too, so that it will it looks smoother is even advisable you use a steam iron place another fabric on it you know so that it, it will come back to its normal shape and to place this on it to place the trimmings on it this is the way you are going to do it you are going to mark the length the length of our um sleeve is 10 inches so what you do is that you mark here then you mark four inches from that four inches mark three inches from the three inches mark two inches so the remaining will be one inch so that is how you will place your your trim is the first one we go this way so we go this way so the second one we follow this way the third one this way the fourth one we follow this line then the last one which is the fifth one so and the beauty will just come out so let me go and do that i think that's the that's the final part of this uh, project so it's already taking shape it's because we just we just inserted it that time yes our structure sleeve is ready i use uh, like three years of these uh, trimmings to design it so all we need to do now is just to go take key to the machine go and attach it to to the bodies with our half an inch just want to secure it with pin so that you will see how it will look like and we do the second one yes beautiful <laughs> it will speak better when it gets to the uh, body form oh maniki see how beautiful it looks so i just want to bring to your notice that when you are attaching your your bony don't attach it this way let it be like this this is the normal way to attach it then you stitch by the hedge if you place this your regiline bone this way on your uh, steve net so all this you are seeing here will not be you know obvious all this bony will not be obvious it will have been you know I, it, it will have been hidden under the uh, line so just take notes when you are making yours yes let me just go and you know stitch it then we come to the end of this class yes i've gone ahead to attach our structure sleeve to the bodies so this is the inside all you need to do here is just to secure here with uh, your bias or you can just overlock it and turn here and you are good to go you can see how beautiful it looks i'm sure you are really enjoying this uh, class share this video with your friends and family like this video <laughs> like it you have to like this video because uh, the it's a good job <laughs> so then drop your comments on the comment section i will be so glad to have i mean to read your comments and if you are yet to subscribe to this beautiful channel do well to subscribe today thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye for now